will bake you a cake. And we can play flues or pop or listen to music or whatever you want. <laughs> Sounds fun, Ruby. Is there anything else I can do for you? You don't need to do anything for us, Ruby. We're just excited to spend time with you, you know? What is this stuff? It's everywhere. Oh. Oh. Yep, that's glitter all right. But the only time I ever seen it this thick was when the fairy godmother is here. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry about the mess. I can't seem to go anywhere without the glitter arty. It's lovely to see you again, Fairy Godmother. Last time you were here, you told us an amazing story about a girl named Cinderella. Remember? Remember? But we never found out what happened to her after that. Oh yes, I see what you mean there. That's a cracking story like. Should I finish it? Yes, please. Well, Cinderella was all dressed and ready for the big night. It was a beautiful ball full of lights glitter and lots of dancing. Don't you look lovely? Let me see the shoes. The shoes are a brilliant touch, Fairy Godmother. Now go have a blast at the ball, Cinderella. But remember, the spell will only last until the final firework. So make sure to be home by then, otherwise people will see the real you. Got it! belongs to. Well, let us try it on, Prince. Oh, get out of the way. <laughs> well, best continue your search. That shoe doesn't belong to anyone here. What about her? She hasn't tried it on yet. What? Cinderella? She wouldn't have been at the ball. Oh no, what would she have worn? At least we have to try. Oh, go on. Ugh. And so the prince and Cinderella lived happily ever after. That's a great story. It really is what's inside that counts, isn't it, Fairy Godmother? Indeed. Good friends see past anything on the outside and just like us for the person that we are. So you two would really still be my friends if I didn't do stuff for you? 
Of course, Ruby. Just like the prince who liked Cinderella for who she was. He didn't mind if she was wearing rags or fancy dresses. He just liked her. Yeah, we like you like that. Oh, that's a lovely friendship, fairies. And I have just a thing for ya. Let me see your wrist. <gasps> I'm so lucky to have such amazing friends. Come on, fairy godmother. You're a friend too. Get in here. Is super strange. It's not like Queen Kate to be late for class. It sure isn't. Oh no, what if something terrible has happened? What if she slipped on a banana peel and slid down the side of a mountain, but then thought she was skiing and had such a great time that she decided not to come back? Um, I don't think so, Ruby. I'm sure she just got. <laughs> <laughs> of a board with a glitter. Now then, that's better. Um, excuse me, but who are you? Didn't Queen Kate tell you I was coming? Ah, well, surprise, <laughs> eh? <laughs> uh, ladies and gentlemen, may I please present the fairy godmother. Uh, Oh. oh, thank you, Snoozle, for that lovely introduction. Uh, you're welcome. My fairy godmother, finally. I have been waiting forever. Okay, so first I want to... No, oh, dear. I'm sorry, but I'm not your fairy godmother. I use my magic to help grown-up human believers, not fairies. How grown-ups with what? With their worries and problems, of course. But grown-ups don't have worries. Of course they do. And I helped them like they had little Cinderella. Cinder who? And how did you help her? Potions and posies. No wonder Queen Kate sent for me. Now there's no time to waste. Now oh, I've got a story for you. Once upon a time, there was a girl named Cinderella. Now Cinderella lived with her horrible, evil stepmother. Cinderella, why is there a hole in my skirt? I asked you to mend this this morning, and now the prince's ball is tonight and I have nothing to wear. I'm so sorry, my lady. I've been so busy cleaning, I haven't gotten to it. Oh, you are just a dreadful, horrible, lazy girl. You know that! Poor old Cinderella also lived with her two evil stepsisters. Mother! Mother! Where are you? Oh, hello, sisters. Don't you look lovely? Hello, Cinderella. It's a shame you won't finish your chores in time for the ball. Oh, but I'm almost finished, see? I think I might make it just in time. Ha 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 ha! Are you coming to the ball? I've been waiting forever. Oh, oh. Oh, I hate fairy tales. Oops. Sorry about the mess, Cinderella. Looks like you won't make it to the ball after all. that she would never get her chores done and she wouldn't get dressed in time for the ball.
Moth Hunt. Who dares Moth at a story, Ruby? For that will have to be for another time. I've got to be heading off soon. Aww. I really can't believe that grown-ups have worries too. I always thought children were the only ones. Well, sometimes learning new things can be surprising. Oh yeah, that reminds me. Queen Kate gave me these little badges to be awarded to the three of you if you worked hard and learned something new. I think you have. All right then, I must be heading off. Oh, oh, oh. Promise me you'll come back and tell us the rest of the Cinderella story, Fairy Godmother. You have my word, little fairies. Till next time. <laughs> <laughs> okay, got the snacks ready for the story. Uh, huh? Fairy Godmother? Oh, she's gone. Well, looks like story time just became snack time. <laughs> Gonna take my horse up the ferry road. I'm gonna ride where my worries can't go. I'm gonna take my horse up the ferry road. I'm gonna ride where my worries can't go. People call me Spring Slug, Rainbowlicious Big Bug. Not much of a smiler, but inside I got the big love. I'm all about the facts. I'll keep you on the track. You might think I'm grumpy, but I'm a okay with that. I'm not going to worry about anything. Not going to worry about anything. Not going to worry about anything. I'm not going to worry about anything. Snoozel is my name, and I'm blowing up the game, and I'm blowing up them worries like a birthday candle flame. I got slug on my left, Queen K on my right. With a team like this, the future's looking pretty. Graduation, you know I'm gonna make sure that they get that education. Potions class, you know they have that. They have no stress because they are really cool cats. Wish I could roll on down to the fairy road and just ride where my worries yeah. can't go. I'm gonna take my horse up the fairy road. I'm gonna ride where my worries can't go. I'm gonna take my horse up the fairy. What's a horse? Anyone know? Horse? Is it like a house? House. Horse. Yeah, it must be the same thing. Mm -hmm.